Number 34, the isotope thallium-208, it undergoes beta decay with a half-life of 3.1 minutes. What isotope is produced by the decay? Okay, so basically we have some radioactive decay. In this case, they're, te they're telling us that we're going to decay beta style, right? This B stands for beta. And once this happens, the, the uh, thallium will turn to a different isotope. But let's see, what isotope is it? Well, let's get out our nuclei notation. We got the three boxes right here. And we know that this is going to decay, which means that this has to be our reactant. So we have TL. They're telling us that we have a mass number of 208. So 208, the mass number always goes up on the top. And the atomic number, which they didn't give us, goes on the bottom. But we got a periodic table. We can go to our periodic table and see what the atomic number is for thallium. So we go on a periodic table and I see a number 81. 81 is special for thallium and thallium alone. So thallium will always have a atomic number of 81. Now this is going to decay with a beta, which means that there will be a beta that is released on the products. So let's put that there. So we'll have another one of these, and now we have to undergo beta decay. And just know that beta is a fancy way for just saying an electron. So whether you put the beta here or you put a E, it's fine by me, uh, maybe we'll just do the B. That's the Greek B, I believe that's why it's beta. And now an electron is always a negatively charged subatomic particle. So the atomic number is a negative one. And since it's not located in the nucleus, there's no mass number for it. It would just be really easy to just memorize these uh, special particles. So a beta is always going to be a negative one on the bottom and a zero up on top. But now your mass numbers on the top across your yield sign have to equal and the atomic numbers across the equal sign or the yield sign have to equal. So that means that I'm going to have another isotope and that's what the isotope is going to be produced. We're looking for this guy. Well, let's see. If my total on the left side is 208, zero plus what will get me 208? Yeah, 208. And now, let's see, 81. You could think of this yield sign as an equal sign. So 81 equals negative one plus what? Well, I mean, you know, 81 equals negative one plus X. All you gotta do is just add the one over, right? So we got X equals an 82. But now, who is this? Well, the atomic number will always tell you. I gotta look on the periodic table to find out number 82. And number 82 is lead, PB. So what isotope is produced? Lead, PB, 208. Now you can give this as your final answer. You could say lead 208. It does not matter, both is acceptable. And that's the answer for this one. So lead 208 will be made when thallium decays and releases a beta particle. And that's it. I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for all your support throughout this whole journey. You guys absolutely rock. Good luck on those tests and quizzes, and I'll talk to you soon. And if you want to become a member to the channel to help us out a little bit more, you can. There's four different tiers. Maybe one will suit your fancy. Um, yeah, check it out. No harm. But yeah, anyway, thank you, and I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye-bye.